What's up, lads? It's time. Collar is here. I'm still in my onesie, but we needed to get this video done because trust me, lads, this is a game changer for me and my style of play. We've also got Stoichkov. We've got Rui Costa in that pack with Jan the Man. We will be streaming in a little bit. It's going to be an early stream. We're going to be doing a long stream and we're going to be spinning for the king. The king is my favorite player, lads. He's my favorite player in the game to use. He's kind of like a, a legend now in the, in, in, in the channel or on the channel. But he's part of these national attackers, right? I'm trying to keep my hype levels down a little bit until we stream because it's going to get wild. But we've got Rui Costa. We've got Stoikov. Stoikov? Stoik? Kofs. I think that's how you pronounce his name. And Jan Collar. Now, these are all in with these packs as well. You've got Simmons, Grealish, Nunes, a couple of other good players in there as well. Up in that. You've got a couple of those. We'll get through those in a minute, but I want to do a quick look at Collar and Rui Costa and Stoichkov. Um, and these guys are, I won't say, listen, game changers is kind of a, is a, is a term that's, you know, in your own kind of, it's relevant to you, right? For me, Collar is, is the most excited I've been about a player in a, in a long time, right? But we are going to start with Rui Costa, who is the best player in this pack, I think, pound for pound for most players, right? Plus, he's a new legend. We've never seen him before, especially this edition of him with a booster. He gets a plus two to his technique. We're going to show you a quick training guide on him in a second. We will be spinning later, so check out the live stream. But we do have ball control, dribbling, tight possession, and low pass. So similar to the Messi uh, technique plus two booster. When that's activated, you are going to have a starting at level one base rating of 83, 82, 86, and 87 for his low pass, which is incredible. I think that's really, really nice if you are looking for a different type of player, um, you know, that you're then you're probably used to. Balance is a little bit of an issue here with this card, right? Even though he's got some good player skills, he's got soul control, he's got heel trick, he doesn't have one-touch pass, which again is a big concern if you are used to playing a lot of one-touch football, or even if you're just used to getting rid of the ball as soon as possible, because sometimes now the animations don't really kick in if there's a little bit of user input uh, unresponsiveness. So that's just something that you might want to throw on him. I will have a look at that in the stream as well. But he does have super sub, which is nice, and he does become a game-changing impact player if you want to bring him on as a super sub, right? Now, we're actually going to go over to eFootballDB here. I'm going to show you what I consider the best build just based on the type of player that he is as a creative playmaker with the skill set that he has. And we're going to be getting the boost, <coughs> excuse me, we're going to be getting a big boost to ball control, dribbling and tight possession. So these stats, ball control, dribbling, tight possession and low pass are actually going to be getting a plus six. You're going to be getting the plus two with the boost, or sorry, a plus four. You're going to be getting the plus two with the booster. And of course, you're going to be getting the plus two with the manager boost, right? So that's going to mean that we can kind of train this guy in a different way if we want a little bit of finishing. The biggest weakness on this card, in my opinion, is going to be his balance or lack thereof of kind of like small based attacking midfielders. And as I like to say, kind of pick and pop players, right? Where you're literally going to be getting on the ball. Messi is the best at doing it at the moment getting on the ball and being able to do anything, literally dribble, pass, touch and go, shoot, curl shot, you know, lob ball in over the top, true ball, whatever, right? I don't think Rui Costa is going to be as good as that. He's a different kind of slower base player. But if you are going to be getting the boost to all of these, you're going to have every single stat that you need close to 90, if not above 90, right? Even if you wanted to go a little bit less with the passing, I think once you have, um, you know, 90, you're getting, getting a four boost to that. Once you're getting the 91 uh, passing stat there, you could actually go a little bit more with the dribbling if you wanted to max that out. And that will mean that you're then going to be getting 90 for dribbling, 91 for ball control, and of course, 94 for tight possession with 95 low pass with the manager boost and the team play style boost. So that's just something to keep in mind. We will also take a look at a player that I was very excited about. People were slagging me how I pronounce his name, lads, right? So I do apologize if I offended anybody with my name pronunciations. This guy, Stoichkov, Stoichkov is a very, very good player. He's actually got a shooting um, player skill or player booster, right? And he's got some really nice player skills as well. Uh, dip and shot, rise and shot, first time shot. Again, doesn't have, as a goal poacher, one touch pass, but does have fight and spirit. Also has chip shot control and outside curler, which I do really like. Doesn't have acrobatic clear, uh, aerial superiority or acrobatic finishing or anything like that. But that's not really what you're going to be using this player for, right? Again, his weakness is going to be his balance and his stamina and that attacking awareness. So if we are going to be trending him up, 
We are going to be getting the boost to ball control, finish in, physical contact, and kink and power. Physical contact is a bit of a wasted one. I would have liked to have seen his physical contact at around 76 to be able to play around with it, right? So uh, I do think that that is a bit of a disappointing one. But we'll head over and look at the build here. So this is just a quick fire build that we've gone with him. I'm not going to spend too much time on him because I do think that that tight possession is a big worry with this card. Even if you pop 13 into dribbling, you're going to have the boost to ball control and dribbling of plus four or, you know, around that with the manager boost and the booster. But I genuinely feel as like this tight possession is going to be a problem, especially if you don't give him low pass or one touch pass. That low pass is going to be a problem. As well. If you're used to kind of like passing and spinning with players like Mbappe or Mario or any of the players that you've probably been using. If you're a newcomer, this guy is a brilliant guy to spearhead your attack. But I do think that he has a couple of uh, balancing issues you know you know his his stamina there his physical contact is, and jump he's getting a booster to physical contact which is a bit of a waste it's a bit of a silly one his tight possession i would have liked to have seen that to bring him more a little bit more meta at least 85 i mean 78 i know you're getting the boost with it but 80 isn't enough really with it with a player of this caliber especially if you're a spinner man you want to get the best version of these cards and i don't think that this card is really anything to shout home about now in saying that a lot of people will say that this card will play above his stats and i guarantee you that he will because he's got a really good ball control he's got 90 finishing and of course he's got 90 plus acceleration with balance nearly at 88 as well or 85 86 um so he is going to be a good card but i definitely just feel like it's going to be one of those cards where you either like it or hate it love it or hate it so um yeah that's just kind of my thoughts on it we will have to train him up a little bit and see how he goes now on to the big man lads well listen this guy could literally have his own uh, video right one of my favorite players ever to use was his original legend card um which was phenomenal but it only had what 10 levels i think this guy has got uh, 31 levels his booster is going to give him a boost to finishing heading jumping and physical contact now i'm slightly disappointed because i would have liked to have his booster include attack and awareness that's going to be a tiny issue on this card but listen lads this guy Collar is genuinely one of the best players, if not the best players in the air to win a ball. He's going to have heading. He's also going to have acrobatic finishing, aerial superiority, and first time shot. I'm going to probably give him a couple of more additional skills as well. I'll probably give him one touch pass to be able to bring in the play as my target man and knock down balls. He's unbelievable for me. His positioning is next to none. If I'm going to train him up, we will be spinning for him in the live stream. But if I was going to train him up here, I'm probably going to go with a very, very, very uh, similar build to this here. So I genuinely think you just need to go all in for Collar with his heading ability and his physical contact and his jump, right? So we've got a couple of tricks here that we've done with this collar card so the first one is we're going to get that de dexterity to seven we're going to also get his lower body strength and aerial strength to eight a piece and then shooting seven and dribbling six now i will say right that if i'm using counter target on collar we'll go through this in the live stream because i'll be testing out multiple builds of him if we get him we are going to be testing out different builds where he has got a little bit more mobility right now i've popped seven into dexterity no matter what you do, lads, you're not going to get acceleration and balance on this guy. What you need is physical contact and you need aerial ability. I mean, this guy is literally a hammer to a nail. That's that's what he is. I mean, he's not going to be running going like Mbappe or Romario or have the silky feet of Messi. So you need to exactly know what you're going to be playing with him, right? So for me, because of the boost we're going to be getting here, we're going to be getting obviously plus two with the manager boost to finishing. That's going to give us 90 finishing, 90 offensive awareness or attacking awareness. We're also going to have dribbling at 75, which is nice. Ball control at 70, tight possession at 74. Low passing, I'm not going to worry too much about because I'm going to throw one touch passing him. And I'd recommend if you get him, you do that yourself. And then also for his speed, with because of 10 Hag who we're using, we're going to have 80 speed, which is a massive upgrade on his old legend card. Kick and power is going to be above 90. Jump is going to be at 91. Physical contact is going to be at 101. And header is going to be 102. So that's basically what we're going to be using him for, lads. I mean, we know exactly what we're going to be using him for as our main man. I mean, this guy outperforms every player in my squad, really. He scores goals for fun. And every time I need a goal, I just whack him on and he scores a goal or else we start him and he's already scored one or two headers. So I just hope they haven't nerfed headers. They had kind of changed them back last week. But the big thing with this card, lads, is going to be his air, his aerial ability. That's going to be what you need to use if you are taking a look at him. So that is it for me, lads. We will be live streaming. Sorry for the lengthy video. We'll be back with the other player reviews and breakdowns. I hope I get Yan Collar, lads. The stream is going to be a bit mad. So I hope you guys are ready for the crack on a Monday because, uh, yeah, I'm going to be hyped. We got two cans of Red Bull in us. Our Monster Energy will be ready for action for the live stream. 
And uh, yeah, until next time, until soon, I will talk to you in a bit. Don't forget to subscribe, lads. It's getting crazy. Peace.